Hi, and welcome to Walkthrough Voices. I hope that you're following with us and participating in our Genesis and Exodus challenge during this month. Those are big books and there's a lot of action there. And right now we're in the part of the story where we get to meet uh, Joseph in Genesis. If, if you're just now starting in, you can go back to Genesis 1. It's still possible to catch up and it would be really cool. You can read this on any schedule you want, but to do it with a group is so encouraging. And we have a couple of options. We have the Daily Walk Bible that's available from, from our ministry. We also have reading schedules. And then we also have a daily podcast on the Daily Walk Bible. Um, whether you're driving to work right now or working from home, you can, you can just listen to that portion of the scripture read and a little thought to focus you before you hear what God has to say, and then afterward get it off the page and into your life. But there's still time to make this the year when you read all the way from Genesis to Revelation. So go ahead and invest a couple extra hours in, in catching up. But you know, in the, in the last part of Genesis, um, really from chapter 37 all the way through chapter 50, it's focused on a man named Joseph. For a scripture to give that much material, I mean, it's, it's page after page. What is that? If my math is right, I think that's 14 chapters, and a lot of them are long chapters. And Joseph, of course, God has big plans for Joseph. He reveals to Joseph, Joseph, you're going to be a leader. I've gifted you in a special way. And when Joseph shares that, his brothers mock him. They think he's a mama's boy. They resent the fact that he seems to be his father's favorite. And they eventually sell him to a, Midian, a Midianite caravan that's going to Egypt. And he easily could have been killed had not his brother Reuben intervened. They were, first of all, planning to kill him. Instead, he finds himself living in Egypt as a slave. He's accused of a crime he didn't commit. He's in prison. Promises are made and broken to them. What about, what about the vision God has placed in his heart? I mean, he goes there about age 17, and it's not until age 30 that he's eventually released from prison. He interprets a dream for Pharaoh. He rises up to prominence. He really becomes the, the number two guy in all of Egypt. He saves the whole people from famine. And his brothers and his father, eventually they come to Egypt to buy grain. That's some of the exciting story you're going to be reading. But as you read that, I don't know about you, but the question that comes to my mind is, why all the delays? Why the, why the detours? I mean, if God is all-powerful, if God is all-knowing, why doesn't he just get Joseph in a place of influence sooner? Why the false accusations? Why the imprisonment? Why the broken promises? And I think as you read through this, you'll come to the same conclusion that I have, and it's this, that, that God cares even more about the development of the dreamer than he does the fulfillment of the dream. Let me say that again. God cares even more about the development of the dreamer than the fulfillment of the dream. Because when Joseph finally is raised up to a place of prominence, his character is solid enough to handle it and it doesn't mess with his mind. Most of us are not going to be the Secretary of Agriculture and the most powerful nation on earth, the number two guy to Pharaoh himself. But the principle still holds. Why the delays in our lives? Why the frustrations? Why the three steps forward, two steps back? Because before God can work through us, He chooses to work in us. Because ultimately, God cares more about who it is that we're becoming than what it is we actually do for Him. And as you read this section, it's long. There's a lot of detail. There's a lot of ups and downs. I mean, if you graph his life, it looks like an EKG with all the triumphs and then the crashes afterward. But be assured, God is at work. God has a plan. He's going to bring it to pass. But before he works through Joseph, or you, or me, he's got to work in us. So read this and watch God develop the dreamer so that ultimately 
he can fulfill the dream. Be encouraged this week. And remember, jump in there, read along with us, listen on our podcast. Let's make this the year that you get all the way from Genesis to Revelation because it really is one great story. We'll see you next week.